uh, a Negro boy in the South. We uh, say black now. You know. All right, I black. Know, I know all, right. About you. all right. All uh, right. Did, did <laughs> is it not the same thing? What? No, Negro. We are taught that all people are named after country. Chinese are named after China. Cubans are named after Cuba. Uh, Irish people are named after Ireland. Indonesians are named after Indonesia. Japanese are named after Japan. Australians are named after Australia. But there's no country named Negro. Mm. <laughs> all right, then let me. You re understand? I understand. You're let me not as let dumb me, as you look. Let me rephrase. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look that dumb? No, it's okay. <laughs> what I really mean is, did you? history of ourselves, the history of our true religion, our nationality, our names. See, we don't have our names, you know. I notice how proud you all are, uh, proud of your names. See, Chinese have names like Chang Chong, Lu Chen, this is Islamic teachings. Russians have names like Kosygin or Khrushchev. You have names like O'Connor or Grady or Kennedy. And uh, Africans have names like Lumumba, Nkrumah. And Jews got names like Weinstein and Goldberg, and, and Italians got names like Dundee and Benvenuti and Marciano. <laughs> and, but we have names like Grady and Clay and Hawkins and Smith and Jones and Johnson, but we are black. These so, are the slave names. Yeah, this so the, when I heard this, I knew it was the truth. It's history. So Muhammad Ali is a beautiful black name, name of our ancestors. So when I heard this, I just had to walk out of the church and Christianity because they never taught us our true knowledge. Then they told me how we were brainwashed in America. We see Jesus, he's white with blonde hair and blue eyes. We see the Lord's Supper, all white people. We see the angels in heaven, all white people. Woman, Miss World, a white woman. Even Tarzan, the king of the jungles in Africa, he was white. He said, oh, 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 oh. You see. We see a white man swinging around Africa, oh, 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 with a diaper on, oh, oh. And he beats up all Africans and breaks the lion's jaw. And then the Africans been in Africa for centuries, but he can't yet talk to the animals. But Tarzan, all of a sudden, some goat raised him up and he can talk to the animals. So I'm just showing you how the black man in America has been whitewashed his mind. And then we look at the good cowboys, they rode the white horses and the president live in a white house. They got TV commercials, white house cigars, white swan soap, king white soap, white cloud tissue paper, white rain hair rinse, white tornado flow wax, white plus toothpaste. The president lived in a white house and, and the angel food cake was the white cake, but the devil food cake was the chocolate cake. <laughs> everything good was white. And when I heard this, I said, boy, this is the truth. So our religion teaches us the knowledge of ourselves, the knowledge of our culture, the knowledge of our history it makes us want to be with our own, marry our own, live with our own, clean up ourselves, do for self, quit forcing ourselves in white neighborhoods, but clean our own neighborhoods, makes us proud, makes us identify with our own brothers throughout the world. And after I heard this, being an intelligent man, then like I'm not only a winner in boxing or my stand on the draft, I'm a winner also in the movement that I follow for my people. And the only leader is Elijah Muhammad, who we believe was taught by Allah, God himself, to teach the so-called American Negroes the truth that's been hidden from them for 400 years, which will free them. ...has said something which perhaps a lot of us white people have misunderstood. Perhaps you can explain it to me. He said that white men are devils. Yes. But what the, does he mean by that? He means just what he said. The deeds and the works of the man. He, he says the American devils. The lynching, the killing, cutting the black people's private out, sticking it in the mouth. Here's what they did to us. I've got a book called A Hundred Years of Lynching written by white men. Taking black women who was four months pregnant, they took us for years and hung us up with the feet and stuck a dike in the stomach and ripped it and pulled the unborn baby out just to put fear in other slaves. They tied up black people to horses and two horses and pulled his arms out and pulled his legs out. What lemonade trains with white children and white people of America used to come and watch them tie up 10 or 15 black men and pour gasoline on them and burn them, watch them burn alive. They took us and hung us up with trees and shot us with bullets. They took and cut a hand off and they gave it to the little boy and they took the leg off. And this is worse than the devil. The, All right, but I, see, the devil, the preacher in the church taught us that the devil was up under the ground. Right. And he'll wait till he died before he burn us up. This white devil in America was worse because he burned us while we was alive. He didn't wait till we die. 
So what I'm trying to say is the deeds and the works. And I think this, if Elijah Muhammad can stand in America for 42 years before my little black self was born and say that the American white man is the devil, then the white man should get up and say you are a lie and carry him to court and say we are not the devil, not one American, not one government official, one mayor, one senator, none of them will stand up and say that they are not devils and this man is lying. So what am I to do? Right. I do believe you, it. Do you believe that every white man is a devil? I mean, Angelo Dundee, Harold Connor. Angelo Dundee's Italian. <laughs> he's got a lot of Harold, he, he's got a lot of black blood in. Harold Harold Conrad's Harold Conrad's Jew. So no, there are exceptions. There are no, exceptions. No, no. Listen, to it. listen. What I'm saying to you is this. What I'm saying to you is this. I'm saying that Elijah Muhammad, our leader, teaches us this. And I believe everything he say. So it's not for, it's not for me to prove that. Uh, you must remember, you have not lynched me. It wasn't the uh, 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 Germans that did this to us. It wasn't the white Canadians who's right on our border. He put emphasis on the American devils. He's mission to America by God to preach the truth. So what I'm saying, let's say we got one white fellow in America who has proved that he means right. Let's say we got another one. White people have died in demonstrations for black people. Now, here's the position I'm in. Here's 10,000 whites coming to kill me. And in those 10,000, let's say here's 10,000 rattlesnakes coming to bite me. And in those 10,000, there was 1,000 that didn't mean no harm. And I knew there was a good thousand snakes out there but they all look alike now what should I do should I keep the door open and let the 10,000 in hoping that the thousand will unite and save me and one bite or kill me or should I just be safe and shut the door so we have white people so I mean right I have a black husband oh my children are black I love everybody I really believe you but I'm sorry, man, there's 10 more thousand behind you that don't feel that way. I'm just sorry, but what am I going to do? All right. All right. So I like to say this, that I know, I'll bet my hand on my family's life now, that there's some whites that mean right and sorry that they were from this race. But there's so few until it don't really matter, until I, I can't forget all the slint, lynching, all the depriving, all the murder, everything that's happened because they're two that mean, right? Right, but don't See, when America dropped bombs on Vietnam, she drops them. Okay. Babies, boys, when she dropped the bomb on Japan, she dropped it. They don't say some innocent, they just said war. So when a person in Belfast leave a bomb, they don't say, well, as a kid, is innocent in here. There's an old lady, she's blind. They just, boom, throw the bomb. So what I'm saying, not because they do, we have a problem. It's black and white. And maybe there's a few voices, I mean right, but there's so many that don't. So we have to look at the problem as a whole. I want to get that plain. I know there are whites that mean right. Okay. You yourself have, uh, have some little white blood in you. Yeah, what are you saying? You, you, feel, you feel totally Negro, or do you feel... Black? Yeah. Well, uh, nobody is really totally. Like Chinese are yellow, they say, but they're not really yellow. You, they say, you white. Well, give me something white. You don't look white. Here's white. See, this is white. You're not white. You're kind of pinkish. Something. You're not white. <laughs> See, that's white. white. Right. So I'm not black, but I'm considered black. But as far as the blood is concerned, some people say, you talk so bad about us in America. You have white blood in you. How did I get white blood in me? Well, you know. Way course, back a right? hundred and something years ago, the old slave master's wife used to get tired. And he would sneak back in old granny's shack. And old granny had big hips, and she was pretty and had a big breast and big legs, and she was strong. She worked all day to clean up the white lady's house, raise the white lady's babies, and the old white lady was tired and weak, and old black slave was back there all strong, and he would slip back at night and close the door. And you know what he would do? I can guess. You can guess what he would do? And then... <laughs> And then here come me, have that. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe we can get back.